Hi, I'm Steven the Pet Man from Big Apple Pet Supply and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to incubate reptile eggs in the Hoverbader incubator. Now the Hoverbader incubator comes in two models, turbofan and thermal airflow. But we're not going to get into that right now. I'm going to just basically show you how the incubator works and then I'll talk a little bit about which incubator you might want to get for your reptile. Okay, so basic box. You want to just pull it out gently. Okay, now this is the incubator. Very simple steps to get this going. Okay, this is basically already done for you. It's the screen is already attached to the um, the water canals, and um, in here is your wafer thermostat and your the screw. And I'll show you. It's very easy to. Um, I'm not going to actually put the, the, the uh, wafer thermostat in, but basically all it does is there's a screw here and a wafer, and the screw slides in, the wafer goes on the other side into here, and you adjust your temperature like that. So it's, it's very quick to do, very easy. I'm not going to show you how to put in a screw because I'm sure you already know how to put in a screw. So, okay, um, what happens here is this unit carefully goes into the bottom. Now just note that some of the edges are sharp, so be careful when you're putting this platform into the base here. Okay, goes right into the base there. And what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna take a cup of water and you're gonna pour into these water tracks. I'm not gonna do it, but you're gonna pour into these water tracks the, um, a, a nice layer of water into all these water tracks. And that's gonna give your eggs humidity as, um, as this heats up and the water turns into a vapor. Okay, um, what you're gonna need to do to have this setup work is obviously you're gonna need reptile eggs. Um, doesn't matter whether it's snake eggs or um, lizard eggs or whatever kind of reptile eggs. But basically you need a container. And uh, the container could be anything like this plastic container or it can be um, a shoebox Sterilite container or a Rubbermaid container. Any of those brands that make the uh, Tupperware style containers. Anything that will fit into here. So basically you've chosen this. Um, it's a good idea to put a label on it when your eggs you believe were, were um, you know, laid out from your reptile. And then all you're going to do in a container like this, you always need a lid. So you're going to have a container like this. And then you are going to take what I recommend is our glitter grade vermiculite. And the reason why I recommend this glitter grade vermiculite is we mill this here on Long Island and um, it's big, thick pieces. The kind that you get like at the big box stores, the, the, um, the hardware stores, they're going to have very fine and that's not going to work well for incubation. So what I recommend is that you take this type of vermiculite and you pour it into your about two inches high because what you want is you want this I got to pour a little bit higher but what you want is enough space that it's going to lay out or your your um, your eggs are going to be able to be sunk into here so if you take the water okay we're going to take the water right now and what you want with this type of setup is you want enough water that it's not going to rise above or that it's it's not like soaked, but th what vermiculite does is it can hold um, up to 20 times its own weight in water. So when this soaks up the water, what you want is a nice, a nice amount so that when you squeeze it, a little water will actually come out of, of the vermiculite. Then you're going to take your eggs and you're going to sink them halfway into the vermiculite. So half the eggs should be up, half the eggs should be under the vermiculite. You will need to occasionally re-wet this vermiculite, so you will need to open the incubator, and you will need to put and add extra water into this, okay? So, um, then you would basically add all your eggs, and there's enough room in this incubator to have multiples uh, of this kind of thing. Um, before we actually put our eggs back in, what I would tell you is that you should set up this incubator, so we close it, and make sure for three hours that the heat, the temperature, is the correct temperature before you put your eggs in because you want to make sure that the incubator is stable. 
okay? And what I recommend is a Big Apple Pet Supply digital thermometer, and what this has is a probe. We also have a version of this, if you want to know the humidity as well, that's a dual probe thermometer hygrometer, so it's going to show you both temperature and humidity. But temperature is super important. Um, keeping the eggs moist, as long as you keep the eggs moist, you're fine. So what I would recommend is that you set your thermometer on the side of the incubator, um, not on the top, but on the side, and put your probe on the inside. And then it also has a min-max button on here, so you can even see what happened at night or any amount of time. So once you're set with that, once you make sure that your temperature is good, then you're going to take your eggs with the vermiculite moist. Uh, one thing that I left out before is that you should have, like on uh, this size, you should have like four small holes punched in here. Um, one eighth inch holes are fine uh, or a little bit bigger and that'll allow proper airflow but not too much airflow okay because we don't want to dry out the eggs so then we would just take this put this inside and again you have room for about six of these um, but you would put this inside and you would just incubate now every type of reptile egg has a different incubation period Every, uh, for snakes, for bearded dragons, they all incubate at different temperatures. So you need to research and make sure that you're incubating your reptile egg at the correct temperature. Now the last thing I just want to go over is this comes in two models. The turbofan and the thermal airflow. The thermal airflow, king snakes, milk snakes, corn snakes, general snakes, you're fine. I actually personally prefer the turbofan and there's varying things on the internet that you might read but I like the turbofan because it has the fan and it evenly disperses the temperature throughout the incubator so I like that a little better and some people say it dries out the eggs but not if you do it the way that I just did it which is with a lid and a few small holes on the side of the box uh, uh, that you're incubating the eggs in so um, there you have it. That's how you incubate in the Hubabator incubators. And if you have questions, you can always call us at Big Apple Pet Supply. The incubators are under our incubator section in our reptile department. And I thank you for watching.